Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look back, way back, to the very first Sega Genesis game that I ever purchased, Valus 3. I, myself, am surprised that I still remember this game, as it still has a very special place in my heart for many reasons. The game was the first I ever bought, with a bit of persuasion from my brother, of course, and it was also at Toys R Us that is now gone. It was the first time I grabbed that ticket and went to the cashier with my cash in my wallet to buy a video game. Back in the days of the original Nintendo, or NES, many of the games lacked story to back them up, until of course Ninja Gaiden changed everything. This particular game used cutscenes with larger cartoon graphics like in the comics to describe and push the story forward. I was amazed by this system and this method became very popular and one of the main reasons you push so hard to get to the next level to just see a bit more of the story as your reward. With the Sega Genesis, the 16-bit era crushed the 8-bit look to help realize what was possible especially with anime. Closer and closer were we to take anime from television to look closer in video games. My brother being a huge anime and Marvel comic fanatic saw this game and persuaded me to get it just for the art itself. I agreed and my hard earned allowance and report card money quickly disappeared. Was it really worth it? Valus 3 was developed by Teledent Japan and released by Renovation in North America in 1991. The game is a side-scrolling platform action title that has the main character, Yuko, fight King Blames of the Dark World before he destroys Earth. Not knowing anything about the series, I was qu quickly introduced to the quick summaries of Valus and Valus 2 to catch up first-time players like myself as it was the first of the series on the Sega Genesis. Right away, I knew why my brother wanted to so much play this game, with the cutscenes being high quality and almost like watching anime on television. The music was great and quickly sucked you into the lore. The gameplay was simple and easy to grasp with memories of Castlevania on the NES with Cham, the most notable ripoff of the Belmont family, use of the whip. The visuals were fantastic as they were bright, colorful, and had some of the best looking levels I had seen up to that point. All in all, my brother and I had a blast playing and trying to beat it, which we never did without cheat codes of course. The game itself is hard, and I mean unforgiving. The game starts nice, but when you get further in, it's not the bosses that do you in, it's the levels. The ice level, to this day, I can never pass without cheating. Nor could my brother, and pretty quickly we moved on to the next game, and soon found out that via Electronic Gaming Monthly, as there was no internet at the time, you were able to cheat, and we could finally, finally see the ending. The game is very significant to me as I followed my brother in hobbies like drawing and reading comic books. Balance 3 helped propel myself in drawing more anime and jumpstart that revolution in finding and collecting art in anime where I was soon very into Rod Mahath, Dragon Ball, Macross, and more with development in my art and Marvel comics more than even Jim Lee had on me at that time. 
I would soon follow Renovation and their games library as they ported over some of the best anime inspired games like Ernest Evans, El Viento, Wise 3, and to one of the best shooters of all time for the system, Dyrus. I always looked at the good time I had with my brother copying and still drawing concepts that relate to Yuko and more to this day. I can never say that Valor 3 is a great game as it is mediocre at best with great cutscenes and a good soundtrack. But I can say that it's a singular game that it truly jump started who I am today when I look at art in general, loving animation every day. The funny thing is, I would never play and have yet to play another Valis game ever again. Sounds like another retrospective video to visit, maybe in the future. Renovation deserves so much credit in their games for the Sega Genesis, and I wouldn't be the same without them. That's it for this retro look back at my very, very first Sega Genesis game, Valis 3. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great. Take us out of here. And I will see you all next upload.